Hey everybody, Mike Kazmer here at Pinkbike. Today we're gonna to take a look at an interesting brand new bike, the Forbidden Druid. The company was started by Owen Pemberton and Alistair Beckett, two guys with a bunch of prior experience in the bike industry, but they decided to set out on their own and create their version of the ideal trail bike. So the result is this, the Druid. 130 millimeters of rear travel, 150 millimeters up front, 29 inch wheels. Pretty standard stuff, but, but what sets it apart is this high pivot suspension design. It's a design we've started to see um, become more noticeable on the World Cup downhill circuit, but up until now, there haven't been too many trail bikes that use that. We'll dive into the details of that in just a sec, but before we go further, let's just talk about the geometry. So with a 150 millimeter fork, this bike has a 65.6 .6 degree head angle. It's got a relatively steep 76 degree seat angle. And then the rear center length, that actually varies depending on the frame size. It's four frame sizes, small through XL. So smaller frames have a smaller rear center, larger frames, larger rear center begins at 414 millimeters and goes all the way up to 450 millimeters on the extra large. Basically, the idea behind that is that the bike should feel balanced no matter what size you're on. Reach on this one, a size large is 465 millimeters, right in line with what we're starting to see uh, in this category. That's not, I wouldn't say it's boundary pushing, but it's also not conserved either. Just kind of middle of the road right there. What's not middle of the road is that suspension design that we're gonna talk about now. The idea is that when the wheel encounters a bump, it's gonna move more rearwards rather than upwards or forwards. It just helps it get up and out of the way, lets you keep charging along without getting bucked or knocked offline. But because that pivot is so high, what would happen is if you had ran the chain the typical way, just ran the chain from here to there, and the wheel moved rearwards, you'd get a lot of chain growth. You'd be pulling that chain and be kicking your pedals back and you'd feel that. But in order to counteract that, you just put this idler wheel here and that helps uh, basically neutralize that and you don't feel it in your feet anymore and still lets you enjoy that rearward axle path. If you look closer at the frame, there's a bunch of little features that you might not notice at first glance. We've got some extra little bolts here you can use to mount a tube or tools, uh, kind of accessory accessory holder there. You've got this little fender back here, just keeps the mud from spraying back and getting in this little notch here. And also, right here, if this got packed with mud or super dirty ride, at the end of the day, you just take the hose, spray it in there, it's all angled backwards, so it just flushes it out. So you don't have a lot of nooks and crannies, just a pack full of dirt. Uh, should be pretty wet weather friendly. So this bike has internal cable routing, but instead of running it through the down tube like a lot of companies do, Forbidden went through the top tube. Pretty cool, clean design. It also uh, accommodates your brake levers on either side, so depending on your preference, whether you run it motor st moto style or with the front brake on the left, everyone's gonna be happy. So it also has this nifty chain stay protector here just to keep any chain slap noise to a minimum. A few little ridges there, and those ridges, we're starting to see a bunch of companies do that, but they basically kind of break up the force of the chain when it hits. So instead of it slapping just like that, it gets kind of dissipated, just makes it quieter. So initially this is gonna be offered as a frame only, so you can kind of build it up as you'd like. It's probably gonna be somewhere around $3,000. So one question a lot of people are gonna have is how much does it weigh? As it sits right now without pedals, we're looking at 30 pounds for size large. There you have it, that's the new Forbidden Druid. Click the link in the description below to read the full review of how this bike actually rides. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments.